People do not seem to yet understand that crisis and opportunity are the same thing. Crisis and opportunity are the same thing. In fact, in Japanese, they have the same word. And what most of you people are doing is you're going through your life, you're seeing a crisis, you're seeing the world get destroyed, you're seeing Corona, you're seeing the American election be stolen, you're seeing all these bad things happen and you do not identify any opportunity in these circumstances. You sit there and think, oh well, do to do, the world does what it does and I'll keep doing my job. I'll keep working at Starbucks. And maybe one day when my ship comes in, I'll make some money. Never. That's never going to happen. It's never going to happen, and I'm gonna tell you why. Three reasons most of you are never going to be rich. One, you do not identify opportunity. The opportunity we are discussing now, which happened on the 12th of March, where I bought 600 grand of Bitcoin, which is now worth in excess of 7 million. I've done zero work, zero. I've turned 600K into 7 million just because I identified an opportunity. It took me 10 minutes. You're th sitting out there thinking, if I just had a million, if I could just become a millionaire, that's how easy it is. Now, you probably didn't have 600K to buy Bitcoin like I did. Fine. You could have put 600 in and had 70 grand. 70,000 you could have had from 600. But you do not identify opportunities. This is the first thing you do not do. You do not pay attention to the world around you. You just live in your little bubble. You're too busy arguing with your ugly girlfriend, too busy stressed out about some dumb shit, too busy sleeping in. You don't pay attention. You're not perspicacious. This is why you miss opportunities. It's the first reason you're never going to be rich. Second reason you're never going to be rich is that everything that is taught and told about wealth creation is outdated. Your parents' idea of how to generate wealth no longer works. Your parents say, just work hard, save your money, put it in a savings account, and then get a mortgage, and then you can pay off the house all garbage. That stuff doesn't work anymore. Back when your parents were doing that, the savings account gave them six, 7% interest. Now you don't even get 1%. Pay off the house. How much, how much cheaper was a house in relation to their wages then than it is now? It's insane. If you actually try and make money by just putting money in a savings account and getting a mortgage and paying off the mortgage, you're gonna be broke until you're 60. And that's not getting rich. You need to be rich when you're young and sexy like me, not when you're old because nobody cares about the old dude in the Lambo, they care about the young dude in the Lambo. So everything you've been told and taught about wealth creation is outdated and wrong. The key to wealth creation, everything has changed, the whole game has changed. And I even say to people all the time, the ones I mentor and coach, don't buy a house, rent a house. They're like, oh, but isn't that wasting money? No, what's wasting money is buying a house, giving huge interest rates to a fucking bank, and then tying yourself to one geographical location. The reason humans are the number one species on the planet is because of our adaptability, the ability to adapt. I can go anywhere on earth. I can go wherever the money is, where the money resides. If the money is residing in Japan, I can go to Japan. If I need to go to Singapore, I can go to Singapore. I can go live in Los, motherfucking Vegas. Wherever I'm gonna get paid, I can go and I'll just rent, 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 rent. Boom, boom, boom. I ain't got nothing tying me down. It ain't gonna take years for me to buy or sell something. I ain't gonna worry about all the upkeep and property maintenance. Buying a house is foolish. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I do own this house because I want it to be exactly the way I want it, but I'm rich rich, right? You aren't. So you shouldn't be doing that shit anyway. You do not need to buy a house. It's one of the biggest mistakes you can make. It's a psychological thing that your parents have told you. If you own a home, if you own a home, if you own a home. And then I tell people this and they go, oh yeah, but you can always rent it out. You're gonna spend 300,000 on a house so that you can rent out for 800 a month. And then every time the boiler breaks, you're gonna spend 500 fixing the boiler and they're gonna damage your house. And by the time they leave, you're gonna need a whole bunch of repairs and they're gonna be calling you all the time for hassle and stress if they even pay their rent on time. You think that's a good spend of 300 grand? Do you know what else you could do with 300 grand? Buy Bitcoin, 